We're back in the Premier League. The lone players from last season have largely gone. We're left with a squad of 20 and only 13 of them are any good. Can we get it uh, together before the start of the season? Hello and welcome to Club 5 episode 12 of The Pilgrimage. My name is Jamie. Coming up on today's episode, it's the pre-season edition where we uh, look at uh, transfers and build a squad for the new season. So this is what we've got at the moment. As I said in the introduction, we've got a squad of 20, but realistically only 13 of them are first team players. So we're going to need to uh, move several players out and bring an awful lot of players in to uh, make up the uh, the difference. So I will uh, go away and try and trim out the uh, the dead wood, bring in uh, some players, and I'll bring you back to show you what I've done in a little while. Okay, it's now the 14th of July, and uh, these are the uh, deals that we've concluded so far. Uh, first player we signed was uh, Justin Janicek for seven and a half million pounds from Hanover 96 in Germany. And uh, let's have a quick look at Justin. He's a centre back, 25 years of age, three star current ability and three and a half star potential. Uh, looks a very solid acquisition. So uh, no international caps, but 26 caps at under 21 level. So obviously was very highly thought of at, uh, at one stage and hopefully will do a very decent job for us. So that's Justin Janicek. Uh, next in was Nico Burenhaus from Sheffield United for eight and a half million, uh, which could eventually rise to just over 10 million pounds. Uh, let's have a look at uh, Nico, and he's a defensive midfielder, and he is uh, 22 years of age, an Austrian, three-star current ability, four-star potential, and again, a very, very decent acquisition, very happy with him. Uh, loads of under-21 caps, yet to win a senior cap for Austria, but that's Nico Burenhaus. Uh, next through the door was Marcello Saracci from Hoffenheim. Bit of a bargain this one, 1.3 million, but very pleased to get hold of him. He can play anywhere down the left-hand side, but we'll be using him as a left-back. And uh, he's uh, three-star current ability, three-star potential, 31 years of age. So he should be a very, very decent uh, option for us and certainly will provide very good cover. So that's uh, Sirachi. Uh, next in was a player who will be familiar to, uh, to most of you, Jaden Bogle from Birmingham. We spent 14.75 million on him. So let's have a look at how he looks now. Uh, he's a right back, obviously. Uh, 28 years of age, three and a half star ability, uh, three and a half star potential, and uh, as I said, 28 years old, so he isn't really going to get any better. Uh, but uh, again, he looks uh, he looks a very decent uh, acquisition. Very happy to get hold of him. And. Uh, one more, and that is uh, Aaron Martin uh, for £2.6 million from Parma. And he's a left back again, uh, three and a half star ability and three and a half star potential, 32 years of age. So again, uh, one who's at the, uh, the end of his career, uh, but we should get a couple of good years out of him and um, I'm very pleased to, to have him in. So let's uh, take a quick look at the squad as it looks now. I'm happy with the goalkeeper options. Uh, Chris Hughes is uh, certainly going to be first choice to start with, but uh, 
Soroa is a very capable backup and hopefully he'll be happy to be so for another year. Uh, we've got two right backs, both of whom are decent, so I'm happy with right back. At centre back, we've got uh, Jaden Bogle, uh, Cedric Kipre, Jared Branthwaite, and Eric Kabako. Although Kabako, as you will see, has a transfer already arranged and he's leaving on the 1st of August, so we'll need to replace him. Uh, we also have uh, Justin Janicek. So we've got four centre backs currently. Um, and uh, obviously we're losing one so we'll need to bring one in uh, left backs we've got three at the moment um, we've got Aaron Martin uh, Anderson Lecocchi and Juan Sanchez Sanchez is on his way out of the club though um, he's wanted by a couple of clubs and he is on the uh, transfer list and is also available for loan so one way or another he'll be leaving um, in defensive midfield it is new arrival Burenhaus and Ayub Kasimi who was here last season uh, Shandon Baptiste uh, Davin Chance joins us on loan again uh, Jean-Jacques Leroux was here last year as well and Baldo was also here last year and he's the weakest of the options. We could probably do with a central midfield upgrade. Uh, Sirachi is a left winger and can also, I think, yes, he can also play left back. In fact, he's better at left back than he is at left wing. So he will provide cover for the left back and uh, we've got one right winger which is uh, Yasser Aspria, uh, Brereton Diaz and Matty Bone on the left wing and Fraser Sharp and Kevin who were both here last season are here again on loan as strikers could probably do with one more so uh, those are the things we'll be looking for um, between now and the uh, end of pre-season so I will come back when we've got the next raft of transfers completed and I'll speak to you very very shortly okay it's now the uh, 1st of August and uh, since the uh, last update we've made three further signings so we'll uh, show you those right now uh, first one through the door was Cade Gordon from Charlton for five and a half million pounds and we'll have a look at him he is a winger he can play down either wing uh, predominantly I expect him to be on the right but he can play perfectly well on the left as well and uh, he's uh, two and a half star current ability three and a half star potential 24 years of age so a reliable backup but probably not going to be a first team regular so that's Cade Gordon uh, next one through the door was Kian Burke from Birmingham for five million pounds and he is again two and a half star current ability three and a half star potential this time 23 years of age and he is a center back so he's going to be uh, a backup for the back four and uh, you know he he will get game time but he won't be a regular so let's uh, move on from Kian Burke to the final signing and this one's an exciting one Luis Suarez not that one uh, from Burnley for eight and a half million pounds it's this Luis Suarez uh, he's 31 years old and Colombian three and a half star current ability and potential and he's a striker so uh, he's going to be uh, a very important uh, player for us hasn't really achieved in his career what he should have done um, we're hopeful that uh, that he'll do that uh, with us so uh, I'll uh, I'll leave it there for now 
and uh, I will holiday through to the uh, eve of the first match of the season and then we'll uh, conclude this episode by uh, rounding up the the squad so uh, I'll be back in one moment Okay, time now for the final part of this uh, pre-season episode and I can confirm that uh, on the eve of the opening game of the new season uh, we haven't made any further signings after Luis Suarez so let's uh, take a look then at the squad as it stands and we've got two goalkeepers Uh, one is two and a half star current ability and four star potential the other one is three star current ability and potential so Chris Hughes will start as uh, the first choice keeper but uh, Shomin Saroa is very much being groomed as his successor so uh, that's the goalkeeping situation. At right back, we have uh, three goal, uh, three players currently on the books. Um, we have Darnell Furlong, Jaden Bogle, and Keon Burke. Although, Keon Burke is actually a centre-back, as you can see. So he's the first of our centre-backs then. Um, we've then, at centre-back, also got Cedric Kipre, We've got Jared Branthwaite and Justin Janicek. So that's four centre-backs. We've got two left-backs, Aaron Martin and Anderson Lukaku. And we've got two in defensive midfield. New signing Nico Burenhaus and Ayub Kasimi. Both uh, young players with uh, a decent amount of ability and potential. Um, in central midfield, we have Shandon Baptiste. Loan signing Flavio Davinchens is back for another season. Jean-Jacques Leroux, who was also here last season. Matthias Baldo as well. Uh, he was here last season too. Um, in... At, uh, in fact, Marcello Siracci, even though he's showing here as uh, a midfield left, is actually, as you'll see, a left back. So he's going to provide uh, further cover at left back. And uh, that will give us the uh, potential to uh, probably uh, move Anderson Lecocchi on um, in January I would think um, so that's uh, Sirachi uh, on the right wing we've got Yasser Aspria and new signing Cade Gordon uh, Gordon will be the backup to Aspria but has the uh, the potential to be as good as him um, on the left wing we've got Ben Brereton Diaz and Matty Bone um, Brereton Diaz, the uh, the better player, although he's older, and uh, Matty Bone has the same potential as uh, Ben Brereton Diaz. Up front, we've got new signing Luis Suarez, um, and the two loan signings that were here last season are here again for another season. It's uh, Fraser Sharp and Kevin. So uh, the only thing that's uh, left to do now is to show you how we got on in our pre-season games and to tell you what's coming up on the next episode. So let's uh, have a look now at the schedule. And as you can see, we've had an unbeaten pre-season, almost a perfect record. The only uh, blemish, if you can call it that, is a 1-1 home draw against Red Bull Salzburg in the first pre-season match. Other than that, we've won every uh, pre-season game, scored a bucket load of goals against some good teams and some not so good teams. And uh, as you can see, opening game of the season, we face uh, a home match against Chelsea and we then face Sheffield United away in the Premier League seven days later. And those games will be coming up on tomorrow's episode. So uh, if you've enjoyed that, 
please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for Monday to Friday Football Manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.